have a couple of assignments this week. Um, one is just reviewing some of the sketch tools you've learned. You're going to make this umbrella and you're going to make this pencil. Now, for the first assignment, and you know enough to do these. This umbrella can be done with arc tools or even circle tools, and you can um, you can trim um, or and then it uses the line tool too. And then it uses offset to make that cookie cutter thing, like the cookie cutter technique. Um, and the off, the pencil is actually super similar to the circus tent. Um, so we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a hexagon and we're gonna extrude it. Then we're gonna pull out the tip um, and we'll add an eraser. So if you have adapted quite quickly to Fusion, go ahead and try them on your own. You don't have to watch my instruction. But if you're still getting used to feeling comfortable with Fusion, I'm gonna switch to Fusion right now and do them. And we will start with the umbrella. So we have to start with a sketch. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the arc tool. And remember with the arc tool, it's important to click. Don't drag it. So click for one point, let go of your mouse button. Click for the second point, let go of your mouse button, and then when you move, it's making a arc, and you just click at the height you like. I'm gonna make it like that. Okay, so and now I'm gonna make arcs for the inside, and I'm gonna zoom in. Actually, no, yeah, I'll just do this. So an arc here, probably to here. Oops, I chose the line tool. That was a mistake. Undo. Go back to arc. Let's click at this starting point and go almost to the center. And it messed up because I'm trying to rush. Arc tool one more time. I think my mouse is dying. That could be part of it. Okay, so. Woo. Come on, mouse. I need the cross here, here because it. It looks like it's clicking there. We'll start at this end. We'll go to this end and now we'll pull it up really mild because I don't want to get too sharp of a corner there. Okay, back to arc tool. From this point to that point. And again, a shallow curve because we don't want tips that are too hard. Now I can use the line tool. So I'm going to go down probably to about there. And I'm going to hit escape because that's all I want. And then I'm going to go down on this side. And then hit escape again. And now I'm going to go back to the arc tool. And I'm going to click from here to here because it's going to be a really little arc. Actually, probably to there and pull it down. And then the arc on the other side is going to be bigger. So let me go back to the arc tool. And we're going to go from here to here and pull it down more. So it's a pretty thick um, hole, but that's okay. And then we're going to close it up like that. Okay, so there's the initial umbrella. Now we're going to take the offset tool, click the edge. We can drag it inwards or outwards. I'm going to try inwards because the thing is really fat. Okay, so there's the inward one. So that's all you need for the shape of the umbrella. If I finish my sketch, then go to extrude, you need to click the face that forms the outer wall. So don't click on the edges, click on the face. And then I'm going to have to turn this a little bit so I can see my arrow. Whoops. And you just pull it up and click OK. And if we look at it from the home perspective, maybe not the home perspective. I wonder what it looks like from here. Yeah, I kind of like that perspective. So there's your umbrella. This one's not quite as nice as the one in this example, but as long as you're using the arc tools for these three pieces, you're fine. So you got to go ahead and make that umbrella. Okay, I'm going to open a new document because the second thing to do 
is this pencil. Um, and this time when we do on the, the pencil, I'll probably make the sketch on a wall. So, and we start with a hexagon. So let's flip to fusion. I created a new document. I'm going to click this wall. I'm going to go to the polygon tool and choose edge polygon. And remember that first you just make the length of the hexagon. And then when you move it, it will say, hey, you're gonna make a hexagon. And a hexagon is in fact what I want. So I will finish sketch and go to the extrude tool. And you can make it any length you want. If you wanna make a short one, you can, but I'm gonna stop here. Um, and I don't want to use this dial yet because it does it to the whole hexagon. So this is a trick I haven't shown you yet. So I'll hit OK. And then what you need to do is you need to extrude this face a second time because it remembers that cut point. See how this says it's only 50 millimeters? So since I extruded it a second time, then it bends in. I'm going to click cancel and show you that again. So this is the hexagon extruded out. You go back to the extrude tool and you re-extrude this end, I'd say to at least 50 millimeters. And after you do that, when you bend it in, it only, it only um, tilts the angle of the, the newest extrusion, which is super nice. So I can click OK. And the only thing we're missing now is the eraser. Now let me show you a really good way to do the eraser. I'm going to, let's see, I need to get to the back. Okay, so there's the back of the hexagon. If I go to creating a cylinder and I click the face instead of the plane, click the face of the extruded hexagon. And now if you move this around, it's going to help you find the center point. So when I get about here, it sees the center point, and now when I pull it out, the eraser will be shaped nicely. You don't want to go beyond the lines, but look how close I can get. If I'm more patient, I can probably get it exactly to the edge. Um, and then let's, you can go out, I'm gonna go out 10 millimeters and click okay. And there is your pencil. So those are, those are review. They're relatively easy if you approach them the right way. Remember, if you hit the wrong tool, like I kept hitting line, um, go ahead and just hit escape. Um, but take your time with it. And I'm going to stop this and be back for the second assignment.